Man, I don't know, guys. I think we got to get him off our team. I don't know how we're going to do it. I don't know who we're going to trade him to, but... What's up, guys? It's your boy, Philly Halftime. I wanted to talk about the preseason games, how we've been doing so far. Nick Sariani for the two preseason games so far, has not started his starters. He keeps on saying he was going to, then he gave excuses that the field was wet. Stop using that as an excuse. I think you need to see your starters, and I get you don't want to hurt your guys, but I think they need to see their starters in a game because you have a new offensive coordinator, a new defensive coordinator, and you got a new running back. You got to see if, you know, you got your guys are all in the same rhythm. But a new, you know, offensive coordinator, new defensive coordinator, got to make sure you're on the right track. This is why I think Nick Sirianni's wrong on not starting the starters for like a quarter, you know. But the last game, he better start his starters because you need to see if they're ready. You need to see what is happening. So watching the two preseason games, I like what Kellen Moore did so far. He's been running the ball a lot. Kellen Moore likes throwing to his tight ends. Kenny Pickett has a problem throwing the football. We all get that. But now Kellen Moore has a problem because he don't even have a good quarterback to do what he has to do. But I'm seeing what could be. Our offensive line is really built strong. Even if you go and go to the backups, if somebody does get hurt, we have somebody that can fill that spot. That's what I've seen in the preseason. That was leaving up open holes. Starts getting weaker at the third line. I mean, like, if you got the first and second line good, then you should be okay for the year. I like what Kyle Moore's got going on so far. Vic Vangio. Eagles fans got to like what Vic is doing. He blitzed a lot against New England. Blitzed a lot. First two games he blitzed way more than we've seen in a couple of years. So, if you're liking the blitz, Vangio's doing it. Kelly Ringo, he, he lit it up against New England. He was being a real good corner. He was uh, cutting people down. Jeremiah Trotter Jr. is a run stopper. He is stopping the inside of the run. And that was a tale for me that watching him, Bradbury, Man, I don't know, guys. I think we, we got to get him off our team. I don't know how we're going to do it. I don't know who we're going to trade him to, but Bradbury is, even as, as he's doing safety work, he can't make a tackle. He's not it. He's not the answer. He can't tackle worth a damn. If he, get, he tries to tackle somebody, the guy's still running. And Bradbury's on the ground. He's leaving guys wide open. Bradbury's not it. You got to get rid of him. I know they're not going to because I think they have to pay him a lot of money. But that would be the way to go if we could trade him. Big Vangio's scheme, even though it was mellow and Kelly Moore's scheme was mellow, just plain Jane, they weren't showing a lot, but the defense looked way better. I like me, I don't like the bend but don't break defense. But the corners look like they played a little tighter. Then they have been in the past. They're not leaving a 10-yard gap saying, all right, here's a 10-yard wide open wide receiver. Hopefully, we play like that in the regular season. Big Ben Jarrett looked like he was, he was calling a good game. I liked it. I liked the schemes. I liked how we were blitzing. I liked how we were actually on our man. Listen, it's not always man-to-man. -man. I get it. And, it. and it's not always press. but. You can't leave your guy, like, wide open and thinking another guy is going to come down and cover him. At least they were waiting for that guy to come down before they left. The corners were actually watching, making sure the other guy would come down or, you know, the safety would go up or, you know, in that area. They were actually paying more attention. And I think that's all because of Vic Vangio. I'm hoping Vic Vangio can turn this team around because I don't like the bend but don't break defense. I hate it. I really do. I don't think it's that good of a scheme, but 
He's the one that came up with it. So if he can't get this defense to where it's supposed to be, then nobody can. Now, Kellen Moore was awesome. I liked how he was running the ball. You know, he likes throwing to his tight ends a lot. I do think the Eagles rookie wide receiver, Wilson, I think Kellen Moore is going to use him as a tight end. He can block, and they could use him as a tight end. He'll probably transfer sometimes. So see, see if that happens. But in all, team went good. There wasn't really no big, great plays. But, you know, I do think uh, Shipley should be the number two spot over Gainwell. But they didn't really play Gainwell that much because Gainwell's going to be the number two. I don't like Gainwell. I think Shipley catches the ball in the backfield better. And I think he uh, hits the holes faster. And he'll get more yards. Gainwell gets like two. Gainwell's not that good of a running back. So far in the preseason, not bad. But I've seen last game, the starters must play a half of a game. And I don't want to hear no excuses by Sariani saying, the field was wet. It hurt my feelings. He's got to have more of an attitude. He's kind of soft as a coach to me. I mean, if you're not going to play your guys because the field's wet, I don't know. I get it. You don't want to hurt your guys, but you got to also find out what you have. Every team is playing starters, but we don't. Seriani, you better play your guys now. Last game before the season starts. Got to find out what you have, buddy. You can't just sit there and baby file them. Put a pacifier in their mouth and then, you know, pat them on their ass. This is football. It ain't, it's not rigging uh, tennis. All right, everybody. Thank you so much. And uh, leave your comments below. Let me know what you think of it. And I will catch you guys on a rebound. Peace. I'm out.